Emerson leaves McLaren to go and do his own thing with Kopasuka, and in comes James Hunt. How serious was James? James, you know, let's say the way he grew in in racing. In Formula 3, I was quicker. That's why I got his seat, and I ousted him because he crashed too many cars. Formula 2, he was not quicker either. And then he got into this fortunate situation. Harvey Puzzlethwaite, great designer. Alexander Heskes, fantastic team boss, if you like. Politically well-versed, and, you know, he was, and so on. And then, of course, with Bubble Sorsley, you know, being the team manager. One car team, so he was the focus point, the center point of everybody, for everybody. So that was great. And then, of course, with the connections he he had, he got good engines too, and he won a Grand Prix, which was fabulous. It's good for Harvey Postletwaite, great designer, very, very good. And that, of course, made James already almost larger than life. And then when he when he got the offer to drive for McLaren, you know, I thought, hmm, there's my number two place, my number two situation cemented, you know, in concrete. Okay, nothing wrong with that. I mean, he was good then. Of course, he was very focused and this and that. But he was not the wonder boy they made him out to be later. But he wasn't. I knew it then. He had all the, the premier treatment. And in 76 then, Cosworth made three engines for three teams, which had, believe it or not, they had 70 horsepower more, not one seven, but seven zero. And that of course was from mid season onwards, you know, suddenly these three cars was Andretti with the Lotus, of course Tyrrell, Schechter, and James with the McLaren. To me, when I heard it later, I thought, damn it. But then I understood, you know, it was for a while until then, I was as strong as uh, James in some races. So it's forever some political things which matter. And um, there's nothing you can do about it. About James, I mean, he has this playboy image. Is it justified? Of course, it's absolutely justified. He was a playboy. He was downright silly sometimes. And I told him so. I said, James, eh, calm down a bit. I said, why do you do that? You're provokingly silly sometimes, you know. I liked him, obviously, but... Um, you know, I sometimes was painful to watch him doing certain things. I said, why? Why are you so, mm, so obnoxious sometimes in your approach to others? You know, just be a bit nicer and, mm, and with girls. <laughs> Did he lead you astray, Jochen? He couldn't do that. I mean, I was okay myself, you know, so I didn't, I didn't worry too much about that. <laughs> it was just sometimes, you know, that he became very abrasive towards mm -hmm. girls and uh, i said it's a pity james don't do that please mm -hmm. they do their job you do your job and so on and um, you know just help them it would be nice but anyway 